everything is called the trochlea. All of this is trochlea. And this other part where the radius is connecting, what's the name? So the sun. Okay. It has a special name. Capitulum. So you can see how it's rounded, and it's it fits very well the rounded end of the radius, right? So we can put them together. Um, once you put them together, you can know what's left and what's right. Basically, based on the on these processes here. So when we put them together, you will see these two processes sticking out. You see them? Which are called the steeloid processes. And this you can feel in your hand when you touch here. See this bump? Mm -hmm. That's the steeloid process of the what bone? What bone is there? The ulna. So when I'm, I'm like here, like this, internal all is ulna and external all is radius. So this is ulna. That's, that's similar to your foot, right? With the, the bones that stick out, they're mm -hmm. facing the outside? Yeah. Here they, they are called styloid process, uh -huh. they, they are called maleus. Mm -hmm. Remember medial and lateral is referring to the anatomical position. So, I mean, if you're sitting here, you can confuse on which one's on the outside versus inside, but it's anatomical position. Right. Um, so. My left arm. Um, the hand, we don't have a hand. Go grab one. Do you want to go over the hand? I, I will, for my students, I won't ask that many details about the hand. I'm, I'm going to ask the, I'm not going to ask the, the carpals. So it will be good if you know them. For my students, it's extra points. So you know, if you if you learn them, you will get extra points. But um, the metacarpals. Uh, what do you want to? So first of all, how to name the metacarpals? So we have we have all these fingers. The metacarpal corresponding to this finger is what number? One. Number one. So that's how you know. Number one, two, three, four, five. That's how you name. It. Metacarpal one, metacarpal two. That's it. Uh, the articulation. So, metacarpals are articulating with these phalanges. What's this phalange? How do you call those phalanges? This phalange here. We have three phalanges, right? What's the name of this one? Proximal. Proximal. This, right? So these are the proximal phalanges. Phalanges. So, the knuckles are going to be the articulation between metacarpals. Flange. Uh, proximal phalanges. Oh, proximal. Mm -hmm. So we have proximal, medial, and distal phalanges. And that's pretty much all the details that I want to include. Um, that's it. So you're going to go easy on us? Oh, I'm still still <laughs> determining, trying to conclude on that. <laughs> Are you going to go easy on us, like <laughs> Ugo? And we can't answer that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do y'all sit around on a table at Sunday night and we, we like bounce ideas different. off of each other? Y'all just sitting in a room and, <laughs> and just <laughs> and you're, are you just making it on your own? I mean, do y'all bounce ideas off of each other or? In general, it's make, pretty independent. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be more straight up identification for quizzes, less conceptual stuff and more just identify, like the picture. On the quizzes, whenever you have the picture, and it's just like, what is this? It's going to be more of that, and less of the true false. There'll still be a couple of those, but it'll be more just identifying. So, so first of all, we start with this big bone here the pelvis. Is this a male or a female? Female. It's 
a male. Male. So this Second angle, guess. We don't have a female, but this oh, angle sorry. is very, this angle is very, very small, right? And this, this albums are very small also. Right. The, okay. the spines here are pointing inside, so that that would be bad for for a baby, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have this bone in here. The coccyx also pointing inside. So. So for a female, it won't really point inside as much. Right. Yeah, right. So if you hold that up, like just hold it face, like you can see if baby can't really fit through there. Uh. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, what's the name of this cabinet? This acid cabinet. What goes in there? The female, right? So. The femur goes in there. The femur is very easy to tell if it's left or right because, because you know, this has to be pointing medially, of course. And then in the distal part, you have in front this big surface here. That is where a bone goes. What's the name of that bone? The, pat the patella. Tella. The patella. So the kneecap, right? So that's anterior. So we know this is medial and this is anterior. This has to be this bone. If I put it here, this goes anterior, so it doesn't work. So here is the patella. We don't have a patella here. And here, the tibia, you were saying. So, you get the tibia. You can see clearly how they are connecting here. And you can see all the, the surface for the movement that we can Right? Um, what type of cartilage goes between those two? Uh, these bumps in here. <coughs> the trochanters. Very good. Um, that's pretty much it. Do you want to? So, I was telling my class, uh, articulating surfaces for the pe between the femur and the tibia. Uh, so, remember, if it's here, you have the medial towards the midline, lateral towards the outside. So, you have the uh, medial condyle, I believe, and the lateral condyle. And on the tibia, they're named the same, except for you have the, it's like the medial condyle articulating surface and the lateral condyle articulating surface. So you have the medial articulating the medial and lateral articulating the lateral. So the terminology is pretty much the same. So that should make it a little bit easier. Uh, if you're giving the tibia as a standalone, remember the tibia is the medial bone between the tibia and the fibula. So you have the tibia on the inside. Then you're looking for this malleus. Uh, this is called the medial malleus. So it should be on the inside. So that's how you can tell left or right. So this is a right bone because this malleus is on the inside. So if it was here, the malleus would have to be on this side. So that's how you can tell the tibia from left and right. Right. This malleus should be on the right side. And then the bump, the tibial tuberosity is anterior. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then the fibula would be... Uh, so the fibula... So if we put them together, what? <laughs> put them together. Uh, this is what forms your ankle, right? The two bumps in your ankle. So the medial malleolus is going to be tibia. The lateral is going to be fibula. That's what you're talking about. Um, I, I won't go into details of how they... But but if you want to know how they come together, you see these facets in here? These, like, facets. <coughs> Those, you know, they have to be touching a bone, so they have to go in there. But I won't go into the details of how to identify your left from right. Uh, I told my class not to worry about the yeah. that. Identifying left and right, anyways. If you want to know how to do it, you put them together, and then you see this point, this point in here. Mm -hmm. It has to be always facing posteriorly. So... That's how you know if it's left or right. Because if we put it in the other side, it's going to be facing anterior to the front. So it doesn't work. It has to be this. 
And that's, that's it. Uh, the food, the 